Now, look at your decor. Someone got past your greeters. What does it look like once somebody is inside? Now, one of the things that most people don't understand in North American culture, because we don't talk about it, is there is a very big difference between public versus private decor. So the way we decorate a home is not the way we decorate public spaces. And very often we forget this in the church. And we decorate churches the way we decorate homes. Now this creates a, a subtle but a powerful subconscious impression to newcomers that, oh, I'm trespassing in somebody's home rather than, oh, I'm welcome into a public space. Nobody feels awkward about going to a new shopping mall. Um, or a new government building or professional building because they're decorated for a public space. Um, but it feels awkward when you go into a stranger's home, especially you don't know anybody there. Um, so we need to keep that in mind when we're decorating and keep that in mind about, it's probably a good idea to use professional public space decorators rather than um, typically a churches will just have a bunch of women who have stylish homes and decorate the church the way they do their home. Um, very different. I'll give you a, a, an example of this. Coat racks. When was the last time you checked your coat at rack? Put your coat in a coat rack when you went to a movie um, or a restaurant um, or the shopping mall or Walmart um, or a sporting event. Okay, we don't check our coats at public events. We only hang up our coat at someone's homes. So when someone comes in and sees coat racks, okay, that gives that impression that, oh, this isn't an open to the public kind of thing. This is a private thing. Something else is the not pretty in pink decor. I've been to so many churches that are decorated like Barbie dream houses. Um, wow. When you have gender specific decorations, um, well, quite frankly, you're going to exclude another gender. And a lot of churches say like, oh, why are 70% of the people here women? Well, look at the place. Uh, it looks like a six-year-old girl's bedroom. Um, we need to make sure that when we're decorating, we're not doing that. No doilies, no pink. Um, there are some places that decorate, again, sometimes very fashionably, but with a children should be seen and not heard. Lots of very special little breakable knickknacks around. The place looks very fragile. You want to tiptoe through it. That's not a good impression. Um, you don't want to decorate a church the same way you would decorate a funeral home. Um, you don't want to have that kind of that somber kind of feel or super formal kind of feel. Um, that's not giving the right impression. Um, you want to decorate a church more like a Starbucks than anything else. Starbucks is very deliberate the way they decorate. They want to create the place where anybody comes in here, they feel comfortable. They don't have to have permission to get here. Um, public space, but fashionable space. Um, good idea. I'm going to give you some examples of church decor. And just looking at this, I bet you could tell what kind of church this is. I bet you could probably tell if the church is growing, is the church shrinking, who even attends this church. So look at picture number one. All right, a whole bunch of clutter of a whole bunch of different things, a um, bunch of old Bibles in that glass case, an old sign, um, some super old photographs. Like this is a cultural museum church. Um, pastor probably preaches in robes. Probably just a handful of senior citizens keeping this thing going. The past was their glory days. They are not looking to the future. Here's one. Well, it's very attractive. Um, but boy, if I had little kids here, I'm not sure how comfortable I would feel. Um, it's very pink. It's kind of hoity-toity. Well, here, yeah, somebody put up a nice chandelier in a really ugly lobby that hasn't been decorated. Um, yeah, this is... A church of people just don't care about things that much. This is not a church of passion. It's not a church of excellence. Um, I don't think this is a growing church at all. Well, this is a church that decorates like a public space. Uh, certainly there's a big Jesus on the sign. Um, 
It's bright, it's vibrant, it's modern. You know what? This looks like a growing church. Here's another church. Also, I know I've, since I've actually been in this particular lobby, it is a growing church. Um, it's modern, it's cool. It's got that public space decorating. Here's another church. Now, massive, maybe it feels better when there's people in the room rather than it's empty, but you've got kind of that Starbucks-y kind of feel that, you know what, people coming here probably don't feel too bad coming in there. It might be a little bit on the monolithic side that uh, can intimidate, so they might have been able to find ways of making this a little bit more friendly. 